What's good, everybody? I hope you guys are having a good Friday because it is actually Good Friday. Yeah, no, it, that was horrible. But I just have to ask, what in the hell is going on in San Bernardino, California? Why are you asking? Because this happened. Uh, 27-year-old Fabian Zap uh, Zapita, he was driving his motorcycle on Tuesday morning down Macy Street around 9:10 a.m. Uh, Zapita was beheaded by a down electrical wire that was hanging across the roadway. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. So apparently, a Ford, uh, a Ford Tahoe, Tar Taurus, Taurus, for unknown reason, collided into a telephone pole, causing it to snap in half with a loose tension wire snapping. Now, the police told the San Bernardino Sun newspaper that the person driving the Taurus, that he wasn't, or she wasn't intoxicated, that uh, he was being interviewed at the scene and his blood was being drawn to see if he was, you know, that kind of thing. And then no one knows the cause of the Taurus crash, but apparently the, dr the driver lost control of the vehicle before hitting the mailbox, sped down a residential yard, and then down the street into the pole. Now, the driver wasn't taken into custody, but it is being reviewed by the district attorney. Now, uh, Zafida is, uh, he leaves behind his pregnant fiance, uh, Vanessa Quinatana, I hope I say it correctly, and uh, their, their baby girl. Now, when she found out about that, she says she, you know, she's devastated and everything, but at the same time, she's happy that she gets to keep a little blessing from her husband. So that means her little one, so you know, just for those who don't know. And I'm just I'm just trying to figure out it's San Bernardino, is that like a fucking bad place to live at? I'm just there's so much going on in that one location in California. You don't hear it. I mean you kinda do, but in that location there's so much going on. But continuing on with this, in Georgia there is actually a a a lot going on as well too. Well, 13-year-old Malachi Hemphill, uh, Hemphill, uh, he fatally shot himself while live streaming on Instagram uh, this week with a gun. I'm, I'm sorry. How, how old was the child? 13. 13 years old. And the child had a gun live streaming on Instagram and shot himself. Now, the mother said that you know, when they heard the shot, his mother and his sister came up to his room and they found uh, a, a pool full of his blood after hearing a gunshot going on. Hemp Hill was later rushed to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, uh, Malachi's grandmother said that he loved life and that he was just playing with the gun and that the gun went off. Now, the family believes that he showed the gun, you know, he was trying to show off to his friends on Instagram and say, hey guys, you know, I got this cool gun, you know, it's empty, blah, blah, blah. And apparently, he got the gun from another team several days before this whole incident happened. Here's my question. Why the hell would you let this 13-year-old child have a gun? You are a parent, and you're downstairs while your child is upstairs with a gun, pointing at who knows where, and then all of a sudden shoots themselves in the face? You are an idiot. If you saw that gun, you say, you know what, I'm taking this, you are an idiot, you're going to get grounded, etc., that kind of thing. You don't let the child have the gun and continue on with life. No, you're an idiot for doing that. Like, seriously, who the hell does this? But, you know, I digress. I don't have kids, but I do care about kids, you know, as much. And then just hearing about this story and then the story in San Bernardino, I'm just like, oh, my God, what is going on in this world? It's just terrifying and it's horrible. So much going on. And But continuing on with, you know, with everything, if you remember Dr. David Dow, uh, he was on the United Airlines flight and he got dragged out of the airline. So if you don't remember, here's a little glimpse of it. I talked about it earlier, but here's a little glimpse of the video of Dow being attacked on the airplane. Pilots drive to Lola? Can't they 
rent a car for the pilots and have them drive? Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. No! My god. Guys, my god! What are you doing? No, this is wrong! Oh my god! Look at what you did to him! Now that this happened, uh, Dow has, he has, uh, Dow, sorry, Dow has, uh, he has filed court papers against United Airlines, thank God, and, you know, he are going to be getting a lot of money, so I'm just going to say that, but that wasn't the only incident that happened with United Airlines, because apparently a week before, a guy by the name of Jeff Fur uh, Furness, Furness, I'm not sure how to say his name, Dealt with the same thing, but he didn't have to deal with all the uh, the violence and everything along the way. Now, uh, fairness, he apparently paid for a thousand dollar for a first class ticket from uh, Kauai to Los Angeles. Now, when he when uh, fairness got into his suit, I mean sorry, his seat, uh, apparently a United Airlines employee says, "Hey, we gonna need that seat because we have somebody else more important coming, so we just want you at that seat." I'm sorry, what? It, what? Hold on. Wow. What the hell? But, yeah, so, there, because of that, there was an argument going on between Fairness and the United Airlines uh, employee, and, you know, it's going on back and forth and everything along the way, and so Fairness was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to give me something else. He was, so, he went, they moved him from first class to economy, and he, apparently, he sat between this couple that was arguing the whole six hours, and he hated it so much. Now, when Fairness asked for, you know, a full refund, uh, this is what United Airlines did. So this is truly, truly messed up. Now, before I tell you guys what's going to happen, I'm also going to let you know, guys know that uh, Fairness is actually the president of the Tri-Pacific Capital Advisors. Now, now the story goes... When he asked for a full refund from United Airlines, they said, uh, "Oh, he asked. He asked. Uh, he asked them for a full refund. Plus, he asked for a twenty-five thousand uh, dollar donation to the charity of his choice." Now, when he asked United Airlines this, United Airlines they was like, "You know what? How about this? We'll give you five hundred dollars. So that five hundred dollars for the economy ticket. So you you just get five hundred dollars back." But we not going to do that Jerry thing because that's a big no-no. <sighs> United Airlines, you are the most stupid and idiotic company ever to be on this world. I'm just, I'm just going to say that, okay? Because for you to do that to, uh, to Dr. David Dow and to Jeff Fairness, and I... I bet there's other people who dealt with this kind of thing with your airlines. That is ridiculous. And that is so messed up in so many ways. But I want you guys to tell me what you think about this. I want you guys to like, share, comment uh, down below and everything else along the way. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter. And with that, I'm just going to say peace out.